What's up my fellow adventurers? Today, we're going to be doing a big one. We're going to be hiking to the summit of Charleston Peak or the top of Mount Charleston. Located in the Spring Mountains of the Humboldt Toyabe National Forest, you'll climb just under 5,000 feet on this 18 mile out and back trail. While there are several routes to the summit of Mount Charleston, for today's video, we will be focusing on the South Loop Trail. If you find yourself enjoying these hikes, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified of future videos, and leave a comment with suggestions of trails I should check out. The trail starts out from the South Loop Trailhead, which is located at the Cathedral Rock Picnic Area. There's usually plenty of parking here, but you'll still want to arrive early in order to ensure you're able to easily find a spot. This is a pretty popular area since, in addition to the South Loop Trailhead for Charleston Peak, it is also where you start for Griffith Peak, Cathedral Rock, and where many people come just to picnic and enjoy the cooler temperatures. Being just outside of Las Vegas means this is a popular place to beat the heat in the summertime. The trail starts out gently as you move through a traditional forest area, but it turns steep quickly. There's no shortage of beautiful perspectives of the valley below and surrounding mountains throughout this hike, so be sure to take your time and pause frequently to enjoy the views. Most of the elevation is gained in the first four miles of this trail, so expect steep switchbacks for most of the way until you reach the ridge with the junction and a sign for Charleston Peak and Griffith Peak too. I cover the hike to Griffith Peak in a previous video, so be sure to check that one out as well. These trees will open up to a fairly exposed section of trail with very little protection from the sun. But after a couple of switchbacks, you'll reach another great view of the valley, making it worth the struggle. This trail is best done during the late spring or summer months, and you can expect to see an abundance of colorful wildflowers on trail. It's also a good idea to remain very aware of your surroundings while you're on this trail, as it's not uncommon to see large groups of hikers, a fair amount of trail runners, and at the earlier stages you'll see plenty of families with young children and casual hikers as well. I would say not the best place for Bluetooth speakers or headphones. I would also say, is there ever really a good place on a hiking trail for a Bluetooth speaker? At this point, you've cleared the ridge and the majority of the incline is behind you. Make a right turn and proceed through this lush meadow.
Here we are at what I call the Dead Forest, a product of a tragic wildfire from years ago. The majority of the trees in this forest are long gone, and this forest feels like it goes on forever. The fire itself was started by lightning, but it still stands as a stark reminder of just how fragile nature can be. The trail opens up at this point to a rocky section and some steep cliff edges to your right. If you pause for a moment, you'll be treated to some exceptional views of the valley below. As the forest thins out more and more, you will find yourself completely exposed to the elements, particularly the bright sun, and at higher elevations, the wind can become an issue as well. So be sure to dress in layers, bring a hat, and don't forget the sunscreen. At this point in the trail, you'll see a bird. And just off in the distance, you're going to see your first real view of this summit. Now it can be a little discouraging at this point because it looks so far away, but trust me, you're a lot closer than you think. You'll still pass through the occasional trees up ahead, but at this point the terrain just sort of turns rocky and stays that way until you reach the summit. Up ahead on the right are remnants of a plane crash from the 1950s, and past that, we're beginning to make our final push for the summit. This will be the terrain from here on out, so it's good to pay close attention to the weather and watch for storms forming in the distance. Take it from me, you don't want to get caught out here in a thunderstorm. And just around the bend up ahead is the summit of Mount Charleston at 11,916 feet. Charleston Peak is the tallest mountain in the Spring Mountains, the tallest mountain in Clark County, and the eighth tallest mountain in the state of Nevada. Here we are at the summit of Mount Charleston. Whether you're super outdoorsy or just a little outsidey, follow along with me as I explore the trails. Until our next adventure, stay safe and thanks for your support.